Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Honeybee Stamps. Today I'm sharing a quick vibrant card featuring die cutting and ink blending to create a tropical summer sunset. So let's get started. I'm using the Shoreline Scene Builder set to create a silhouette scene. The Waves die has two layers, so I cut the solid layer from black glitter cardstock and the wave ripples from black cardstock. Then I die cut a few palm trees in the sailboat from black or black glitter cardstock and the sun outline from white cardstock. I also die cut the sun reflection from gold glitter cardstock for a little extra sparkle. To create my summer sunset, I blend tattered rose, worn lipstick, abandoned coral, seedless preserves, and black soot distress oxide ink onto a panel of heavy stock cardstock. I start with my lightest shade and blend out to my darkest. I leave a little open area at the bottom of the panel where I'll be blending my beach. I go back and forth between the colors until I have a smooth blend. I tend to use a fairly heavy hand when I start applying the color and then use a lighter touch at the top and bottom of that color so that it will blend more easily with the next one. When you have two very different colors like seedless preserves and abandoned coral, make sure to blend any excess ink on your blending tool onto scrap paper so you don't accidentally drag color into the wrong section. After I've applied all the colors, I go back and forth between each color until I'm happy with the transition. I use more of the lighter pinks and oranges and smaller sections of the dark purple and black shades. Then I set that aside to dry. While it's drying, I blend Tattered Rose Distress Oxide Ink onto the sun outline. Then I apply a piece of removable tape to the bottom of my sunset panel and cover up the rest of the ink blending with a piece of scrap paper. Then I blend Black Soot Distress Oxide Ink over the panel to create my beach. Once I'm done blending, I remove the tape. Now it's time to start assembling my beach scene. I start by adhering the wave ripples to the solid wave outline. I adhere the sun to the middle of my beach blending and then add the waves on top with liquid glue. I also add the sailboat on the horizon line and the sun reflection on the waves. Since the palm trees have lots of tiny pieces, I squish a little bit of liquid glue onto a piece of scrap paper and then carefully dip my palm trees into the glue and tap off the excess before bringing it to my panel. This helps make sure that I don't have any excess glue on the blended panel. And if there are any sections that aren't totally glued down, I can take a scrap of paper Add a little glue to it and then carefully slide it under those sections and tap up to apply glue to the die cut. 
Once I add my palm trees, I trim off the excess and adhere it to a top folding white card base. I stamp my sentiment from Hello Summer onto black cardstock and heat emboss it with gold glitter embossing powder before die cutting with the coordinating die. I use foam mounting tape to adhere the sentiment and finish the card with a few white gel pen accents on the sun. And that's it! You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Honeybee Stamps channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!